What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we got a nice update that rolled out to the Galaxy Enhanced X app, which is Samsung's AI tool for getting some extra editing capabilities with your Galaxy S23 Ultra or other Samsung phone. And it allows you to actually do some stuff after you've taken the photo that will really make your photos and videos quite a bit better. Before we get started, I want to thank my son Jonathan. We got the Inosaurus Triceratops hanging out. He always gives us some dinos to hang out in the video. And before we get started, I also want to show you guys a couple of really cool accessories that I recently got in the lab from my friends. The brand name is A-O-H-I, lowercase i there. And um, one of the things that I've showed off in their channel before is their compact chargers. And this is a new one that they have, the Future 65 Watt Fast Charger, which of course will fast charge your Galaxy phone, PD 65 Watt Charger, transparent design, storage mode, space saving, so you can fold it up. It's really thin, I'll show you guys in a second. This is the actual, uh, the actual device. Easy to use mode, it also rotates, so you can rotate it if you need to save some space. Tricolor lights during charging it, and like I said, the ultra thin design. And uh, here it is, here's the actual charger. It's really cool looking, futuristic, transparent looking. So you see future 65 watt, the brand name. This right here is how it folds up. So see, it's like basically flat, so you don't have to worry about the plug in your bag messing stuff up. I like this because if I slip it in the bag with my phone, I don't have to worry about this, like rubbing up against the glass of my phone, accidentally scratching it. And like I said, the plug rotates right here. So you can see right there how it rotates to make it convenient to use. Uh, I'll definitely drop some B-roll in so you guys can see it. Of course, over here, your USB-C, of course, to actually do the charging uh, when you plug it into the wall outlet um, and lights up. Like I said, some B-roll will be right here so you guys can kind of see how it looks. The other thing that they sent me out as well, in addition to the charger, uh, is this cable right here. And the trick about this cable is it allows you to see the charging speed right there. Actually, here's the packaging right there. You guys can see it. Uh, you can probably see it also in the B-roll here that I'm putting, that I just put down with the charger. It shows you the charging speed, so you make sure you're getting that exact charging speed. So if you guys want to check out these products and pick them up, one of my favorite charging brands. They've got a unique design that also is great for travel. Check out the links in the description. If there's any discount codes and stuff, I'll drop it down there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Galaxy Enhance X application and the update that recently rolled out in the Galaxy Store. It's version 2.0.27, November 16th, 154.49 megabyte update. They don't actually have anything in the change log to tell us what's new, but I will show you guys if we head over to the app itself. Here it is. When you open it, it's a very simple interface. It just says enhance the look of your pictures and videos with AI powered editing tools, select a picture video. So you select a picture video here and it opens up all of your albums and you've got some options to choose from. So first uh, I'll just go with a photo here. So I'm gonna go choose this photo of my car. Uh, and when you do photos, you've got a number of options. You've got the magic one, which will basically do just, you know, optimize it to be perfect, you know, as well. And you can slide through and kind of see if you like changes. In this case, you can see that it kind of brightened up the photo. And if you like it, you can hit done and it'll kind of go up there and save it or share it. Uh, the other things down here is you can do Brightener HDR separately. These are really useful if you have shadows, reflections, clean lens, which basically will remove any smudges. Fix blur, denoising, sharpening. Over here, some more interesting ones, face portrait restore. That's only if you have faces in it. Obviously my car is not a face, so then it's not gonna show up. Over here, you've got some options. You've got 24 hour time lapse. This is a really cool one, and I'll actually show you guys what this one does. Uh, if you hit 24 hour time lapse, what it's gonna do is it's gonna make it so it looks like the sun is like rising on your picture. So it goes from being dark to light, etc and makes a little time lapse out of it. So you can see it puts a little cool music. This one actually looks kind of cool because in the garage, when I had the car parked, it actually was kind of the middle of the day. You see the lights come on or off. Uh, and then you can go ahead and save as a copy down here. And then that will be there for you to enjoy uh, in your gallery. Uh, the other thing, of course, we do over here is just basic transform, increase resolution or fixed lens distortion. If you have certain resolution photos, uh, those won't be available. And the ones that come naturally out of the S23 Ultra, it's kind of weird, seem to, to not be. Um, but you can see a lot of really cool, useful AI tools here. Uh, I think the one I use the most is probably the Magic because it does a pretty good job and the 24 hour time lapse because it's just really fun, especially with particular pictures like this one of my car. So if you want to save it, keep in mind that when you do save, it's going to save this new image in your gallery here. Uh, of course, you can undo it. You can also share things there as well. Now with videos, there is another new option here. So you can see here, where it saved the file there, so you can kind of see it. It also saved the time lapse here in my downloads. Now there's a new option. Here's a video actually of my son. If you go into videos, and here's the video, 
you now have single take, long exposure, or slow-mo. So this allows you to do single take after the fact. And of course, also slow-mo does exactly what you would think. So let's show you. you. You don't have to do any work here. That's the real appeal of Galaxy Enhance X, is you don't have to be a great video editor. It'll just automatically do everything that you want to do for you. And then you can just sit back and check it out. So you see when you do slow-mo, it slowed this down to one half X. You can also rate it up here. You can give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Uh, if you like it or not. And you can also go down all the way to a quarter X. It does take some additional processing if you want to go down to one fourth times uh, the original speed, but it's not too bad. You guys can see it's taking about 15 to 20 seconds to edit these into slow-mo. Now, of course, that also depends on the processor in your device. This is on the S23 Ultra. If you're doing this on some you know, lower phone, then it may not work quite as well. So you can rate it there. You can save this and then it'll save the video. Now notice it does save a copy this is the original speed, as you guys can see right there. Now, the other option that I really like here, I like all three of them, but the one I really like here is the single take option. So what this will allow you to do is it's gonna analyze the photo and it'll basically let you use single take after the fact of already having taken the video. Uh, this provides you with some additional flexibility on how to edit the photo. Once again, as you can see, it does take about 15 to 20 seconds and single take has now been applied and you can check out the new shots in the gallery. So if we go back here, let me actually, I don't want to put any of my other photos on blast. This is one of the unfortunate things about uh, kind of doing this uh, behind the camera. Here's the single take photos that it got from it. You can see the single take photos right there. There's the highlight video that it, it gave me from Galaxy Enhance X. So it thinks that that's the most relevant one. And it actually does that nice little zoom motion, which I really do like. So there's some nice features in this that have been added. The single take after the fact is new. Another thing I should mention is if you do have a night shot, I don't know that I have any pictures of the sky in here, but if you have a picture of the sky, there's also this ability to do sky guide, which will allow you to basically look and put like little enhancements that kind of show you the constellations and stars that you took a photo of. So that's really, really cool as well. Anyway, you guys should definitely check this out. If you have an eligible phone, I'll drop the link below to download it. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Again, if you guys want to check out uh, these cool new charging products, um, I'll drop the link in the description as well. Very cool charger. And again, if you travel a lot, super nice space saving design, safe design to put in your bag with your phone. And it looks really cool as well. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.